bull or bear? Hmm, let's see here. Throwing a bear there. Good evening. Hey, what's up? This is Brian Kuzmar with Commercial Rare Coins and Precious Metals and Concierboyin.com in beautiful water down by the sea. Got the uh, live Fort Lauderdale cam up. This is uh, actually what they used to call back in the, uh, I think probably the 60s, 70s, and 80s, uh, the Fort Lauderdale strip area. Um, and in fact, what, one of the movies was named by a bar that's down the street. Some of you may know that. Uh, Where the Boys Are, 1960, something like that. No less, this is the uh, live cam from that area, 81 degrees. And if you're wondering what those lights are right beyond the beach there, those are the uh, cruise ships uh, that are coming into uh, 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 Fort Lauderdale through, um, oh my gosh, uh, Port Everglades. I'm sorry about that, should know my own port. Port Everglades, uh, they just kind of line up out there and come in. Those could also be some container ships at all uh, as well, but uh, uh, a very interesting and beautiful sight in the evening. Camera doesn't do it much justice. Not a good resolution here, but I uh, figured you'd enjoy seeing that. And uh, that's live. It's right down the street from me right now as we speak about, uh, what, uh, uh, not even a couple miles. Well, let's take a look at spot prices today. And by the way, I'm, I'm, I, my apology for not knocking out, I'm, I'm pretty consistent on knocking out videos five days a week. And uh, my apology for not knocking one out last night. Uh, uh, working on estate stuff, as you know, uh, I recently had to uh, take care of uh, uh, my parents' estate here, and uh, that includes a lot. And I keep forgetting to tell you, uh, I inherited a coin show from my father here, and uh, uh, let me share it with you. I share it with you. Uh, the, oh my gosh, Collectorama show, I should know that. Collectorama show. Collectorama show. Dot com. Uh, just because I always share stuff with you guys, and let me see if that pops up. There you go. Uh, that's the show that my father ran. It's the 76th show that's happening here in December. Uh, and here's the dates for it right here. And uh, December 22nd, 12-15 through 12-17. And if I sound like I don't know this by heart, it's because I don't, folks. My father passed away about a week and a half ago and asked me to carry on his shows here. They kind of almost, I won't say they run themselves, but uh, they've been running such a long time. It's a 76 show that uh, um, I don't have to know exactly what I'm doing at the moment. It's a little tough if any of you have been in the situation where you have to take care of uh, uh, your, your parents' estates and, and other things like that. No less, a uh, very cool show. My father's been running it for years. It's called The Collectorama Show. It'll be in Lakeland December 15th to the, uh, December 17th. And uh, uh, Lakeland is really a super cool area. A lot of historic buildings there and uh, uh, lakes, obviously. Uh, and uh, just, just a nice area, a uh, very nice, safe area. And if you get a chance, come by and see us if you live in that particular area. Uh, meanwhile, let's get into uh, spot prices here because uh, I just kind of wanted to share that with you. Last night, uh, again, I was apologizing why I'm late is uh, I had a couple things going on. I, I, again, I'm working with my parents' estate. I had to do a bunch of things, and it got me kind of caught up late last night. Then a town council meeting I went to uh, to discuss the uh, pier that just recently fell into the ocean here. And, uh, I, of course, I had my comments on there. And if you, can if you can find last night's video, you can actually get a chance to see what I look like. It was the uh, Lauderdale-by-the-Sea Town Commission meeting last night, which would have been, what, uh, November 15th. Uh, and as you can see, I'm a little bit like my father. I'm a firebrand. Uh, <laughs> I can be a firebrand. Is that a good word to use? Firebrand. Well, anyways, take a look at the uh, market prices here. 1775 in silver. I mean, gold right now. Um, it didn't. The range was so short. Like, I mean, look, 1770 to 1785 as a high here uh, in the in these uh, last 24 hours. Uh, so kind of gold sitting in a particular range, going up a couple bucks, coming down a couple bucks. Silver the same way, uh, 2147, but as high as what, uh, what is it, 2206 that we're looking at right here. Uh, might even have been a little bit higher than that earlier in the week. Uh, no less, back down to that 2150 level. Uh, and platinum sitting just a little bit above 1000 uh, bucks. I mean, platinum is just so unloved uh, in, on so many different levels. Uh, I'm just surprised it's even close to a thousand. I figured the mid, uh, 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 you know, a thousand fifty or something like that right now, but uh, it's not. Just goes to show you how unloved that metal is and uh, how many people actually buy it. Apparently, 
Uh, either that or that market's just as crooked as the uh, COMEX market. So what I'm thinking, that's actually a CME COMEX market uh, price right there. So, of course, all these prices are rigged. Uh, but no less, the action in silver uh, on these rigged uh, CME markets is kind of reminiscent of uh, uh, past bull markets that I have seen. Uh, the best bull markets I've seen with gold and silver are ones that chug up a couple bucks, drop back a buck or, 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 or give back a buck or two, uh, go up uh, two or three or four dollars, drop back a, a buck or two uh, with gold. And gold usually moves move more in those five to ten dollar increments when, when I was looking at what I thought was a healthy bull market. Uh, in gold uh, and silver, kind of in those fifty cent ranges, would go up fifty cents a dollar, back back off a little bit, and just kind of make these little gains uh, until finally, uh, uh, well, the markets exploded in those two uh, metals. Uh, platinum, I don't follow it as much, but I think it kind of followed a similar pattern. Uh, but no less, uh, the price is here, uh, uh, super cheap in my opinion. Uh, I mean. Out of all the commodities out there, take a look at gas and oil uh, and all these other different uh, commodities. Uh, they're up substantially. Everything but silver. Silver is just kind of dragging there. And why is that? Well, it's probably one of the most rigged marketplaces out there. But this provides great opportunity to buy at low prices. Still, if they're going to rig these prices that low, uh, take advantage of it when you can. And if you've already bought in, relax. Uh, it's going to bite them in the ass, and it looks like more and more that uh, uh, seems to be the case. Uh, as far as uh, premiums go, I'm kind of uh, surprised to see that the premiums on a lot of different products have dropped. Uh, for example, here in our store, wouldn't recommend 90%, but 90% uh, we could sell you at spot plus 10 bucks. That's down by a couple bucks uh, from what it was. Uh, and again, that's on the uh, uh, you know wholesale side, and we make about a buck an ounce on that. So what does that say? Uh, let's take a look at the spot prices here. 2147. I'll do the math for you. 2147 plus um, we're, we get we have to pay nine bucks if we have to buy it wholesale. So we had an extra buck on there. Ten bucks times 715 because that's how many ounces in a bag of silver. Uh, and it looks like uh, 22.5 is what uh, or 22 dollars and 50 cents per dollar is what we'd be selling 90 percent silver here. Uh, based on a uh, uh, silver price of 21.47. Uh, as far as 40%, uh, man, that's really cheap. But uh, gosh, you know, actually the premium is pretty tight on that too. Minus a 40% mm -hmm. is probably not too bad of a buy, but it takes up a lot more space than 90%. So uh, you could buy 40% silver of, uh, from us for uh, the spot price plus two bucks for uh, per ounce. And uh, on the sell side, the spread doesn't look too bad on 40%. One of the few times I've ever seen that. Uh, let's take a look at 100 ounce silver bars. Uh, we have them here for sale at spot plus four bucks. Again, uh, you can buy this stuff from us in larger quantities for less. Uh, but uh, our general rule of thumb is a buck over our wholesale replacement costs. Uh, and that's going to run you about uh, spot plus four bucks on 100 ounce bars. Uh, we do have them available right now. Uh, one ounce rounds are just, man, they're just tight all the time. It's really tough to get those damn things. Um, spot plus uh, 425 uh, uh, on delayed delivery for the most part. If you want them now, if you got to have them now, they're probably like in the spot plus 475 range, maybe a little bit less in uh, larger quantities. As far And uh, that's not too bad of a deal. Again, premiums are down right now on a lot of this stuff, and the availability looks like it's kind of, uh, uh, loose, you know, it looks like stuff is becoming more available, I should say. Uh, 10 ounce bars, uh, spot plus uh, four and a quarter on our end is what we can sell them for. And um, mm, let's see, that, that, and again, availability is not too bad on those right now. Kilo bars seem to be in a big demand on silver. Uh, larger bars, which tells me the wholesale market in the, uh, you know, as far as the uh, larger buyers out there and people that are buying large quantity of silver to uh, try to melt them into thousand ounce bars, maybe Comex. <laughs> well, anyway, uh, that's just speculation on my part. Uh, spot plus four bucks on kilo bars. And uh, there's a lot of other kind of products out there you can buy for uh, not much over the spot price. Uh, premiums, again, have kind of uh, backed off a little bit. Uh, here, let me get to uh, uh, what we're talking about as far as uh, prices go. Hold on a second. Give you a little. There we go. 90%. Well, you know, at spot plus nine and ten bucks, I couldn't recommend 90%. But I just figured I'd tell you that's kind of what we're selling it for, and other places are selling it for a lot more, whether they're local or online. 
uh, and uh, 100 ounce bars. Uh, I, and I would say any kind of 100 ounce silver bars that are recognizable by uh, uh, most dealers out there that deal with these products all the time. Uh, silver bars, and here let me just type that in. Silver bars, I'll give you a little visual there. Uh, Engelhardt bars, uh, I'm seeing them kind of show up when get dealers are running short. There doesn't seem to be a really huge uh, premium on a lot of the newer Engelhardt bars. Uh, uh, no less, uh, uh, that they're, they're no better or no worse in my opinion than the generics are out there. Uh, and uh, Royal Canadian Mint bars and the other bars we handle. Some are considered what we call premium bars, some are not. But I would always say stick with, uh, stick with uh, low premium uh, uh, bars because there's a good chance with all the shortages out there that you might end up with an angle hard, you might end up with the Royal Canadian Mint bar. Yeah, again, if they, if they don't have access to the uh, uh, more generic type products. As far as, uh, again, I talked about kilo bars. You guys know what kilo bars are. Just imagine that that bar is a kilo. Uh, <laughs> uh, actually, that looks like a, uh, in the picture, let's see, the actual size of that would make that about a uh, three ounce silver bar. But uh, uh, yeah, it looks the same as that. So I don't need to show you what a kilo bar looks like. Um, you know, one of the products that we recommend to our local customers and uh, 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 especially in Florida where you have a sales tax limit which is uh, 500 bucks. If you spend more than 500 bucks in bullion in Florida, uh, it's sales tax exempt. But if you're spending less than 500 bucks uh, on, in bullion in Florida, you have, you have to pay sales tax at any legit business. And we're a legit business, we have to charge tax. We do follow the rules as much as we hate them as you do. <laughs> so, but uh, uh, um, uh, 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 U.S. products are completely exempt, like U.S. 90% products and uh, uh, silver dollars and uh, silver eagles are exempt from any sales tax in the state of Florida because they are U.S. legal tender, okay? So, we have been recommending because you, we, we can sell them generally anywhere from melt plus uh, 3 to $4. Uh, right now, if I can order them wholesale at the prices that I'm seeing, I can sell these for spot plus $3. Uh, and, and that's a great price. It's constitutional U.S. silver, and I'll, I'll show you what I'm talking about. Um, here, let me talk about modern U.S. commemorative uh, silver dollars, and, and we'll show you a bunch of pictures here. Uh, this is just like 90% silver, folks. Uh, these are the uh, Statue of Liberty, uh, Statue of Liberty dollars right there. Those are. Uh, 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 a little bit larger. That's actually about the actual size of those. There's the uh, 1986 Statue of Liberty right there. They're 0 0.77 ounces of silver each. You know, silver dollars contain a little bit more uh, uh, silver than uh, 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 like 90% silver, which is, uh, what would I say here, 0 0.715. Uh, so 90% uh, dimes, quarters, and halves. Uh, for every dollar's worth of silver, there's 0 0.715, 0 0.72 ounces technically, but we, we account for a little bit of wear when we uh, buy and sell bags of 90%. Uh, but as far as uh, uh, these things, these are 0 0.77 ounces each, uh, just like a, uh, a U.S. Morgan dollar, just like a U.S. Peace dollar uh, made prior to 1935. So, uh, boy, my throat's getting a little dry here, pardon me. Uh, it's been a long day just talking, talking, a lot of work to do. Hmm. Okay, there we go. A little bit better. Um, we still the best deal out there is well. There's a buffalo right there. That's not the buffaloes you're used to buying one ounce buffaloes. That's a commemorative. You're not going to buy those for uh, spot plus four bucks. That's one of the better commemorative series. But if you're lucky, you can get uh, the eyes 1990 Eisenhower's. You can get the uh, 87 Constitution. You can get the rest of these coins that I'm showing you right here. That's the Olympic coin. Uh, another Olympic coin from the 90s. Um, and uh, what is that? The uh, 89, I think that's a 1980, well, yes, that's 1989, doesn't it? Uh, so many commemoratives they made that you can buy really, uh, you can buy those. They're pretty cool, and they're made by the U.S. Mint, and it's just like a U.S., a real U.S. silver dollar for spot plus four bucks. I know I kind of ranted on that one, but it's one of the underlooked deals out there for a lot of people. Uh, I would avoid buying any kind of U.S. peace dollars or Morgan dollars, the old stuff, because, you know, remember, here, let me do the math here. 20, uh, let's say 21.50 times 0.77. And this applies to these uh, modern commemorants too. There's $16.55 worth of silver in a U.S. silver dollar, Morgan dollar, peace dollar. You know what a Morgan and peace dollar look like. All of us have seen them over time. 
uh, and these commandments have the same amount of silver. So technically $16.55 worth of melt silver value and add just like uh, another four bucks to that. You're, you're, oh gosh, uh, there we go, sixteen fifty-five plus four bucks. Uh, your cost is twenty dollars and fifty-five cents per ounce on these, which is really a good deal. And again, a lot of them come in the uh, original packaging or the capsules that, uh, uh, because a lot of dealers like I do, we throw the uh, packaging away. Uh, but my, uh, uh, again, great way to buy silver. Uh, what else is out there as far as silver goes? Again, Morgan and Peace dollars, and stay away from them. You're probably going to pay in the uh, above $30 range, even for the crappiest ones. Way over the price of silver, double or more, uh, even worse than 90%. Uh, is it worse than Silver Eagles? Yes, it is, because even the Silver Eagle premiums have dropped just recently. I would certainly not recommend them at spot plus $12.50 or higher, uh, but no less. Uh, I have seen the price of Silver Eagles drop a bit, like 90%. Premiums are dropping. Maybe it has something to do with the price of silver kind of jumping up a little bit. Uh, so there's my picks on different types of silver. Uh, for you folks out there that like the uh, Noah's Arcs, the Noah Arcs that we had a little while ago, and I forget, man, who produced the Noah Arcs? Uh, they are available to me right now. They're like spot plus six bucks. To, uh, you know, I can sell them to you for. And again, maybe in larger quantities, I can give you a little bit of break there. Uh, silver Britannia is not available. Krugerrands, Philharmonics, and silver not available either. Stay the hell away from silk proof, e proof of eagles. You know, um, you can probably sell them for like 70, 70 bucks each. Uh, proof silver eagles in their original boxes and stuff, and uh, buy uh, three ounces of silver with that. So if you got proof silver eagles, get rid of them. I think the price is way too high on them. It's more of a collector thing for uh, yeah, a lot of you folks know. Um, and uh, let's see, let's just get into gold products right now. You know, the best deal out there in gold products is going to be one ounce gold bars, and that's going to, here, I'll show you. Valcombi's is primarily uh, what I buy because I like the Valcombi product. And where is Valcombi's here? Um, Valcombi, Valcombi, it's like they took them off here. Here's a bunch of different products, and I'll show you right here. If you're buying any one of these, these are great products, Valcombi, PAMP, Credit Suisse, Metalor, uh, uh, the, I don't even know how to pronounce it, Argor, Horaeus. <laughs> Excuse me, man, I got a really dry throat. Um, a lot of talking, again, so much work to do lately. And uh, gold, one ounce bars and cards, spot plus 40, oh, what is it, I don't spot plus 45, nope, that's not right. We got them for spot plus 80 bucks. So we usually handle this brand, love this brand. But if I had this brand or this brand or this brand or this brand, I'd recommend them all. Spot plus 80 bucks is what we got them for. Larger quantities, we obviously we can sell them for less. Uh, so uh, let me know if you're looking for gold bars or uh, actually any of the silver products we were just discussing. Uh, gold Eagles, uh, let me give you a, a number on what those are probably going to be. Right around spot plus 200 bucks, overpriced. I highly recommend you don't buy Gold Eagles. Love the product, beautiful coin. Um, uh, go America, but uh, just, you know, too much at 200 bucks plus. Uh, uh, fractional Eagles, uh, definitely stay away from premiums. Just freaking ridiculous on those. Gold Maple Leafs would be uh, a good deal as well. Looks like the Canadians do one thing right. I'm sorry, I shouldn't say that. Love my Canadian folks out there. Your government sucks, in my opinion, but so does ours sometimes. Uh, most of the time, <laughs> uh, 45 bucks, uh, 115 bucks over for uh, uh, gold um, uh, maple leaves, which, damn, that's a, that's a good deal. That's not too bad. Uh, Krugerrands, Krugerrands, limited availability when you can get them. They're probably going to be in the uh, spot plus $100 range, a little bit cheaper than maple leaves. Uh, what other products out there I think are a really good deal? Hmm. Philharmonics, if you could pick them up, spot plus 95 bucks or less, uh, that's not bad. Um, again, I'm just kind of offhand quoting what my prices, out the door prices are for less than 10. If you're buying large quantities, I can certainly cut that price down as well. Uh, and again, we advertise to be at Max SDJM Bullion. There's, and there's my little plug, okay? <laughs> Gotta keep it short on my plug tonight, but most of you know who I am and how to reach me. Uh, what else do I got going on here? Gold proof. Proof Gold Eagles, my gosh, the premiums are just plain stupid on that. If you got Proof Gold Eagles, especially in their OGP original boxes, uh, get rid of them, man. Stupid, stupid money you can get for those and uh, put some uh, good profit in your pocket, plus the same amount of gold that you originally sold. Gold Buffaloes, 
a um, little bit better, about five bucks uh, cheaper than uh, uh, Gold Eagles, which would put them, what, 195 bucks over. Uh, pandas, blah, blah. I don't like the new Pandas, by the way. Just a tad under one ounce. What the hell are they doing? 30 grams or something? Uh, so not a big fan of those. I mean, I sell them cheap when I get them in. And uh, as far as Sovereigns go, Sovereigns are readily available. So stay the hell away from uh, Gold Eagles and uh, other fractionals uh, that are bringing anywhere from, uh, what, 17% uh, uh, and higher premiums. <laughs> That's crazy. Uh, good deal on uh, uh, Sovereigns out there. I don't have a lot on hand, but it looks like I have a friend of mine that I know I can get him a really good price for if you want Sovereigns. Uh, what else out there? Um, well, if you come into the store, I'll tell you what the best deals are. We'll give you some other options besides that, but I kind of gave you the main ones here. Um, so that's really it. One thing I do very well is uh, I am a physical uh, gold and silver buyer and a rare coin dealer and a paper money dealer, but uh, uh, been doing uh, precious metals for a long time. Doesn't you don't have to be a rocket scientist to be a wholesale or a retail precious metal dealers. Trust me on this, um, but you do have to throw a lot of money at it to do it well. <laughs> That's rent, all this other stuff. I mean, believe me, Atmex, SD, and JM Bullion. You know that op those operations aren't cheap. My, they are not cheap at all. Uh, they cost big money, and the more money you throw at it, hopefully, the more money you get back. And there's not a big margin on precious metals. So if you're gonna last long in the precious metals business, you gotta do it good. And I've been doing this since 1977 and been in this location since 1995. By the way, all that traffic you hear is live from Commercial Boulevard and A1A. I'm almost on the corner there. A lot of people driving by here in their cool, fancy cars. I think, I don't even know what that was. Sounded like an exotic sports car, which we get a lot of. All right, I'd like to thank everybody for watching yesterday's video, which was uh, $2,500 gold, $70 silver. I know, I hate those clickbait ads too, but, <laughs> you know, e uh, eBay, what was I going to say? Uh, YouTube is a tough place. YouTube uh, rewards clickbait titles. And what I really was saying, I did say that I honestly believed last night that $2,500 is really the price where silver should be. And uh, I believe silver, I mean gold at, I mean silver at 70 bucks is, a, is really at least where it should be right now. And in fact, I expected these prices long ago. And the only reason they didn't happen is because of mass manipulation, as you know in those uh, COMEX CME group markets. Uh, and it's just not my opinion that says that. You know that there's people way smarter than me that talk about how badly manipulated these markets are all the time. Uh, so uh, um, uh, I appreciate everyone that watched last night's video. And uh, let me go into some uh, comments here. I like to answer the comments. Man, my throat hurts. Wow. Hmm. Sorry about that. Hard to, hard to do these when your throat hurts. All right. Let me get down to the very bottom here. Close your eyes if you get dizzy because I get dizzy even if I'm not looking at this. Welco, what's up? Storm and Norman says the corruption is getting a big old. Can't argue more. I mean, can't, uh, geez, can't disagree. Or, 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 oh, my God. Can't agree with you more. As you can tell, it's a long day. Thanks, Storm and Norman. I appreciate that. Gary Biggs, what's up? You too. Appreciate you watching. Why talk about SD when they really have the cheapest premium monument metals? Um, you know, monument metals, uh, 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 I, I checked them out. I didn't think they were exactly that much cheaper. It just really depends on what day you catch them. All these companies, SD, and, and I don't add monument metals in there because really I've mostly been talking about uh, uh, SD Boyan, JM Boyan, and uh, uh, Atmax. Maybe I'll start talking about uh, Monument Metals instead of Atmax, but I'm a creature of habit. Uh, but again, I look at their numbers all the time, even Monument Metals, and sometimes they have good deals, sometimes they're not as good as the other guys. All these guys are competing for your dollars, so you got to expect that they're going to be lower. They're going to be consistently looking at their competition and see who's got to. I do the same thing, you know, but I'm a brick and mortar. And uh, 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 my expenses are much lower than them. So I can work at a much lower uh, profit margin than those guys as, as well for a longer period of time. All right. Uh, Robert Richards says $2,500 gold, 70 pipe dreams at best in the foreseeable future. But what do you know? Go take it out loan, charge a credit card. Heck, sell your stock and get a second mortgage traded all from it. I suspect you're being a bit facetious, <laughs> facetious there, Robert Richard. But I get it. I get it. You know, we've all been experiencing these uh, super low prices. And by the way, I, I think that we may see some lower silver prices. So hang on for your britches. Could we see silver go down another buck or so? 
uh, within the next month? Sure, we can. Uh, and I want to talk about that actually in the, our video here, not a video, in one of the websites here uh, uh, that I want to pull up here. Uh, Sprott, Sprott brought it up that uh, November is the uh, witching month kind of for us uh, as far as pr uh, prices go. But remember, the prices are manipulated, but you know, manipulators have patterns as well. Salty Dog says $5,200 gold, $140 silver. You know, I, I can't say that any of this is not possible. How far in the near future, I don't know. Um, tough to say, but once, you know, once these markets start taking off, I mean, it's gonna be those mornings where you and I wake up together. I mean, I don't have any more insight when this is gonna happen than you guys do, uh, but we're gonna wake up together and say, holy shit. I mean, I've had uh, a couple, quite a few holy shit moments in my lifetime. I'm not that old, but uh, I've been through a few markets, 1980s markets, 2012 market. I've been through the, the last big markets since the 1970s. So, uh, yeah, we're going to have our holy shit markets, and that's not impossible at all. Higher is not even impossible. Uh, but, however, the higher metals prices go, uh, the more the uh, uh, illusion of a strong economy and a strong dollar is falling apart. Uh, Donald Desno says, uh, if you buy some Dixie Cups, some of the fools at $40 to spend the money, call the cups on the books for you, and then the fool. Yeah, you're talking about uh, cryptos. You know, uh, I don't, I always like to keep an open mind. There's a younger generation that really respects these things or did at one time. I'm not sure if they still do. Uh, but uh, um, it's always kind of, even at the best case scenario for cryptos, for me, it's just another form of a fiat, all right? And, and, and you, it, unlike a, a fiat, like a dollar bill, you could at least wipe your ass with the dollar bill or stuff them in your boots if you get cold. Uh, but crypto is nothing. It's, it's, it's numbers and zeros. It's, it's binary. Am I correct? Uh, uh, what is it? You know, so I agree with that 100%. Always had a hard time getting over it. But, you know, I, I, I try to adapt. I try to, uh, um, you know... I just, I just don't want to diss all new technology and all ideas of what other people think might be a good idea. However, though, it's not looking good right now, and uh, I'm glad I never invested in it. Uh, salty Dogs says, play stupid matrix. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Stay away from crypto. Stay smart. Yes, J-Y-I-L Prepper says eBay has the best deals by far. Uh, eBay has some good deals out there, but, you know, I, I really don't look, and I'm dissing it, but uh, Il Prepper, if you make some good deals out there, I think that's great. Um, um, but uh, eBay just never seemed to me like the place to buy and sell uh, 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 bullion. However, I get that you get a good deal out there, and I encourage you to keep doing that and getting a good deal. Uh, thanks for commenting. Uh, Zeke the Great says paper silver was over 50 bucks 10 years ago, and the paper guy slammed it back down. That was J.P. Morgan that slammed that back down. They get fined for that, man. Uh, almost a uh, billion dollars. What, 987 million? Some stupid number. I close to that. Uh, so. Uh, I only paid attention to eBay prices, uh, physical prices around 30 bucks an ounce on eBay. You know, the, the thing is, is that a lot of people don't realize eBay, as a, I'm not sure about bullion, for the most part, I think if you're a huge seller, some of the bullion guys get a break, but the average PayPal fee and the average eBay fee for the average person out there and medium-sized business is around 15% in cost. Uh, and you know, you've got return policies and things you have to do with uh, eBay. Maybe not. I think some of the big dealers out there, Amex, SD, and the big corporations have made deals with eBay where they get a better fee. But that fee is still added on to their cost. So it really can't. I think it. I, I don't know. I don't know. It's tough to say as far as eBay goes. I have to look at eBay prices. I haven't looked at them in a while. Uh, thanks for uh, commenting, Zeke the Great. Really appreciate it. Love the name. Colleen Ferris Baggett says crypto and Bitcoin was generated by prisoners. Is a bad character, bad actors. Um, that my conspiracy theory, which I think is possibly right, is that it's actually a, a CIA, NSA kind of, or maybe some other covert uh, Israeli agency, Russian agency, Chinese agency. Uh, 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 I don't know. I'm not going to admit I know, but it just seems like the technology is so. You know, if you wanted to track people that were trying to do illegal things. What would you do? You'd create a digital currency that you told them that was untrackable and that, <laughs> and that completely anonymous. And what we're finding out now, that's anything but the truth. So I have my feelings that, that uh, these technologies came from kind of uh, uh, devious uh, uh, agencies. Don't know where. Uh, Linda says, uh, from what I understand, the FTX was a change with a wallet. You only have access. Uh, oh, my gosh. Sorry, Linda. I am getting a really 
Hmm. Hope I don't have laryngitis tomorrow. Um, yeah, and it was a wallet. That was it. It was like a bank account, and you couldn't even trust that. So that doesn't say much for any of the crypto uh, uh, wallets out there uh, or anything online. Uh, trust me, folks. Uh, if you don't have it in your pocket, in your hand, then you don't really own it, okay? I've heard that many times from a lot of you folks out there. Anonymous Andy says, I have been burned by crypto. Yeah, luckily I haven't. I'm sorry you have, sir, but uh, it sounds like the gold and silver. You're not going to wake up and find that stuff zero or someone took off with it or stole it. Uh, thanks for watching, Anonymous Andy. Tree Climber, what's up, man? Appreciate it. Close to DCF business or something that... Yeah, Spidey Senses. Uh, Red Sender says, I used to live on Sugarloaf Key. Beautiful place, man. Uh, la later in Key, Key uh, Haven. Key Haven? Um, okay. Uh, working at LKMC. Man, you got me on that one. But you definitely sound like you know the uh, walk the walk and talk the talk of the uh, uh, keys. Uh, Sloppy Joe Webcam, are you stacking any Mel Fisher or Toshi treasures? No. Uh, you know, at one time when I first opened this business in 95, I had bought large quantities of this stuff, emeralds, you name that stuff. Most of it's hype, most of it's the certificates, most of it's a story. You know, you're really buying an old, worn-out silver 8 Reale uh, that if it wasn't on a shipwreck, it would be worth about uh, uh, a couple hundred bucks, maybe a hundred bucks. Uh, but because it's on the uh, uh, Atosha, it makes it worth, uh, you know, 700 bucks, 1500 bucks, 2500 bucks. So that's the truth. Very collectible, and that's what collectibles are really when you know it's not bullion. But uh, uh, it's probably making man, what an awesome that would be awesome to do metal detecting down there. Uh, it'd be out of scrub keys, beautiful, beautiful place. Red Cinder, you got me uh, thinking about the Florida Keys, a place my father loved and spent a lot of time down in uh, my spot. Father spent a lot of time down in uh, what was that? Uh, 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 Little Pine, was it Little Pine? I think it was Little Pine. God, I should know, man. I'm just kind of losing it right now. Uh, Big Pine, just uh, Little Pine or something like that. Big Pine Island. Uh, but, man, beautiful down there. I love the Keys. I'd spend a lot of time down there with him as well. But that was his quiet place. Everybody has their quiet place. Uh, Klaus says, I put my small amount of cash into crypto, averaging down. I have less uh, than a few hundred in there. Uh, there's something to be said about international currency with a few strings attached. Um, let's see what else here. Klaus, nice to see you commenting. I swapped my Bitcoin money in gold and silver. You go, man. At least you got it right now. No one's stolen it from you. And uh, you're, you're, you know, gold and silver hasn't gone up dramatically, but uh, it's kind of holding its own for quite some time now. Um, Anonymous Andy, 25K gold, 7K silver. Man, if that happens, man, you know this world is fucked up. We're screwed. <laughs> First F word of the night. Sorry about that. And uh, gold and silver, absolutely. Michael Matthews, what's up? Coffee morning? No, actually not. It's a water night. Um, man, I'm dehydrated, like I said. Lots of water tonight. Uh, single looking, the more you stop buying silver eagles, the premium will come down. But you clowns keep buying. That's why the premiums are high. <laughs> uh, I can't argue with that. I mean, I won't call people clowns. People want what they want, man. I get that as a, a guy that's been doing wholesale and retail silver precious metals since 1977. Uh, but, uh, uh, yeah, I, I just can't, in good heart, anyone who comes in here and wants to buy Silver Eagles, right off the bat, I tell them, they're, they're terrible. The prices are horrible. I wouldn't recommend them. I got them. I'll beat the prices of anyone out there on them, uh, but I wouldn't recommend them, and I still believe that. Thanks, single and looking. Good luck. I hope you find the love of your life there. Uh, Chris Dutcher, what's up, dude? I love this. Well, Brian, as the next Navy SEAL told me, when you halo jump from 20,000 feet and you land in the rice paddy, fertilized with human waste, it really sucks, but your mission is still in the green. You have one option. You must embrace the suck. <laughs> and that's what has been happening with gold and silver prices. It sucks, but stay in the game. Uh, you must embrace the suck. And really, it only sucks because we got to wait for the upside of this. It doesn't suck for new people buying. It doesn't suck for people still stacking at these levels. In fact, it's a gift for people that are still stacking, still putting away. But man, I've got all I can stack right now myself personally. So I'm waiting for that upside as you are, Chris Dutcher. But, you know, uh, good for the people that can still buy at these low levels, at these artificially low levels. Uh, hope everything's well with you, sir. Hope everything's going well with your wife as well. And uh, thanks for commenting. There may be several million dollars in inventory at SD, but all it takes is one or two whales to wake it up. 
Blackbeard, you you don't know how true that is. Absolutely, it doesn't take much. To just seven million dollars is nothing. It's nothing. I don't mean to say to me. Oh my gosh, <laughs> seven million dollars. All right, but uh, it's nothing. It really isn't in the grand. I mean, I do a lot more of that in volume, but seven million dollars in cash. You know, seven million dollars. Uh, yeah, it, it's really nothing. It can be wiped out very quickly. Any business can be wiped out of seven million dollars worth of inventory, like that instantaneously uh, so you're right you know you're right it's not a lot of money uh, people say oh man that's a lot of silver it's not trust me there's not a lot of silver out there available at recent uh, decent prices thanks Blackbeard love the name I'm a pirate at heart myself uh, Jimmy Buffett uh, uh, a pirate at 40 but I'm in, like a pirate at much older than that <laughs> Christina what's up um, yeah, can't argue with that. It's looking more and more like that is probably the case. Let's see if they get convicted on this. Enjoy the dream life. Uh, uh, pure junk, can't argue with that. Again, I shouldn't say pure junk. I'm trying to keep an open mind. I'm trying to keep an open mind on this stuff because of a younger ger- generation that respects it to some degree. But, man, it's getting harder and harder to respect when it just kind of like keeps dumping like this. And, again, to me, it's just another fiat. And the younger generation has grown up on fiat, so to them this is just a better form of fiat. But you know they're forgetting, not be, they're forgetting. They just never knew, it's not real money. It never will be. Uh, what's up, Joe McDonald? Uh, <laughs> hi to you too, the fishes. Uh, I haven't been able to put the fish cam up. It's just too late by the time. I, it's been getting dark here, like 5:30, man. Literally dark at 5:30. Uh, if I can try to crack out a morning video, which I've been. Uh, 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 brag, you know, bragging about, which I've been uh, uh, talking about for a long time, but not delivering. Uh, <laughs> maybe I can do a, a fish report. Uh, yeah, that's what it's looking like. Ponzi scheme with uh, FTX. No doubt about that. A lot of bad shit going on there. Uh, again, glad I'm not involved with it. Glad I didn't get involved with cryptos. Glad I own gold, silver, and platinum. Uh, absolutely, Crimex, uh, Comex is crooked in not just your and I opinion, but people way smarter than me. Well, I'm not like you, way smarter than me, um, and uh, uh, I agree 100%. Uh, Sam Fry got pretty good. Brady, yeah, yeah, man, they did. Uh, Pumpkin King, King says, uh, if Silver actually jumped with the, within the manipulation, uh, two and, yeah, can't argue with that as well. Cube Comber, cool name. Isn't it funny that Silver started going down this morning after your bear coin flip? You know, sometimes that coin gets it pretty damn good. Uh, I don't track it. I'm sure there's someone out there that does. There may even be a Las Vegas line on my coin flip. I wouldn't know. Mm-hmm. Uh, man, where'd my coin go, by the way? All right, I dropped it somewhere. I have to find it. My, 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 I don't know if it's my lucky coin or not, but uh, yeah, uh, that coin can be accurate sometime. Uh, Span Duda says, Brian, I'm investing in your local wine dealer. I'll be rich. You know, you that's a misconception, Span Duda. I would definitely not do that. Uh, it takes me, if I drink... Uh, uh, two glasses of wine, I'm tanked, man. <laughs> so I'm lightweight. Getting old, lightweight. Usually by the time I do these videos, I'm like a halfway through a glass. And uh, woo, you know, you remember, I'm, a, I'm, I'm, I'm not that big of a person. I'm probably average, you know, 160 or something like that. 5'9", five, 5'10". Uh, five, five, uh, it doesn't take much to get me going. Uh, very light in the body weight there. Work out quite a bit. And uh, ugly as sin, that's me. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Uh, I don't. Well, obviously, you know, I'm not too. I'm not too vain because I don't sit here with my my face yapping in front of you. Um, sometimes I'd rather listen to people and not look at them. <laughs> so <laughs> that includes myself. Jose Cuevas, Cuevas, uh, reliable currency system. I agree. This is not a reliable currency system. Uh, neither are cryptos. Uh, Jim P says, hey, <laughs> "Is that a?" Jim P. Okay, uh, they are not stupid for sure. Able to have multi-million dollar investments from big order. Why would those big order nations believe in these youngsters without experience? They're endorsed by the World Economic Forum. Uh, Jim P. I'm sorry. You know, you know, a lot of the younger generation. You know, there, there's something to be said for experience. All right, and you know, there's a whole new generation of people getting involved in investments, getting involved in the investment world that have lack any experience and when you let your company be run by 20 somethings you know run by i'm telling you it's good to have 20 somethings in your industry because they bring fresh ideas they bring things that you know 
uh, the older generation may have not thought of or may not have gotten involved with or, you know, the younger generation is absolutely uh, 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 it's so important to uh, companies, uh, to the world, to politics. However, you, I don't think the younger generation should run things. I think the younger generation should be part of the evolution of changing things. Uh, there's something to be said about experience. Believe me, if I, if I had to pick an organization, I would do 50% experience, 50% of young, innovative people. Maybe, uh, you know, change it by 10% either way. Uh, but again, I'm just blowing, uh, blowing, blowing stuff out my ass here. Not an expert in that stuff, but that's just my opinion. Experience counts for a lot. Uh, a lot more than people give it credit for. Well, let me uh, point out an article here. Uh, Dan Oliver, Collapse of FTX. We were talking about FTX. Merkman Capital's Dan Oliver pumped a brilliant review of the rise and fall of cryptocurrency exchange FTX, showing how it is a metaphor for all the big financial frauds that proceeded from centuries ago to pre present, where even the most imaginary, quotation marks, imaginary assets can attract and then vaporize, vaporize enormous wealth. Ain't that the truth, baby? That's a good article. And if you're not if you're not subscribed to GAT.org, you don't have to be. There's no subscription fee. Just just save it on your bookmark bar. Lots of great articles there. Uh, I encourage you to read the stuff yourself because again, not here to fish for you. Here to teach you how to fish. Show you my experience. Uh, show you what I've learned all these years, and uh, show you the resources to find out how to do this stuff yourself. Uh, good article here by Sprott. Got to give him credit. Uh, comics prices into year end. Sprott, uh, believe, I'm going to read this real quick before we close out of here. Uh, this market action has led to a fourth spec short squeeze in many months. Comics gold, these squeezes have led to subsequent higher prices, and the charts clearly indicate the lows of 2022. Lows are, be, are behind us. Uh, so Sprott firmly believes that uh, the lows are pretty much behind us. However, they believe, like my, I, my, uh, my belief, I'm not sure for the same reasons, you know, they may believe because of. Uh, you know, I'm not sure if they believe the market's legit, but I believe these markets are so rigged that uh, we will see lower prices before we see higher prices again. Uh, uh, so, and uh, November's always been the month where they've got monkey hammered in the past. I haven't said monkey hammered in a while. Uh, so let me uh, uh, move along here. But that doesn't mean it's clear sailing into year in and beyond. There will be pullbacks and consolidations, of course. And the next one is likely beginning this week. Obviously, uh, this article was probably done a day or two ago. And, uh, uh, and 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 I, I might concur with that because uh, as he points out here, and why this week? Because November is the only calendar month with a front month option and contract expirations in both comics and precious metals. That is almost always leads to price weakness in the late November, and it will likely have the same effect this year. You got to follow patterns, folks, even if they are crooked. That's a fact. So if the pattern says in November's the crooks drive it down, guess what? We may see that here coming up. Uh, but no less, premiums are down, uh, prices are up a little bit. Uh, let's see what happens if the price of silver drops a little bit. Let's see if premiums jump back up again. It's highly likely they probably will. But uh, anyway, let me finish this. The December 22nd option price and expired at Comics close next Tuesday, the 22nd. As you can see below, the near money calls have far more. Up. All right, that gets into more technical stuff. This is uh, on Zero Hedge. Uh, it's called Comics Prices in the Year End. It's by Sprott Money. And I uh, highly recommend that you uh, take a read to all these articles. Again, the more you know, the more you learn, um, the better off you are. The better buyer you become and the better and more educated you become on why you should own gold, silver, and platinum. Why you shouldn't worry about these manipulated uh, low prices and why, you know, and what are the best products to buy, which is something that I can help you with mostly. Uh, everything else I talk about, the politics, all this other stuff, um, you know, you can learn this stuff on your own. But, again, I excel in prices. I've been doing this since 1977. I've been in this business since 1995. Wholesale and retail bullion markets. Now, this is get it where I get into my spiel, folks. Uh, but first, uh, because this will, I'm going to end this. I, uh, this was my theme of the year, which is Think for Yourself and Question Authority uh, by Timothy Leary. I uh, haven't uh, showed this much, but, uh, again, uh, probably did it in like uh, 30, you know, I was saying 80% of the videos, 90% of the videos I did this year, I, I use this theme at the end of my videos. And, and the reason I use it because don't trust the talking heads on televisions, don't trust uh, CNBC, don't trust uh, Jim Cramer or the Jim Cramer medals, don't trust the talking YouTube uh, video guy that tell you exactly where prices are going. They may be right or wrong, and that includes me. 
Uh, I'm not wrong on knowing what the best deals are, though. <laughs> uh, think for yourself, folks, and question authority, and use folks like myself as a, uh, a jumping board to uh, learn how to uh, research stuff on your own. Uh, I can't uh, stress that enough, and uh, I think that's it. This is Brian Kuzma with ConciergeBullion.com in beautiful Lauderdale by the sea. Uh, this is ConciergeBullion.com. It's kind of a newer service. You know, I'm almost thinking about just getting rid of it and just sticking with commercial wear coins. But uh, this is <laughs> this is a service that we offer to uh, uh, folks out there that are looking for. Uh, uh, and again, not ending it because I don't do larger deals, but uh, I'm, I'm kind of wondering why I separated these two different services. I can do the same thing under one. Boy, I'm giving you too many personal thoughts here about my business. But uh, anyways, if you live anywhere in the continental U.S. and you're looking to buy over 1,500 ounces of silver and more than 100 ounces of gold, uh, you can con contact us through concierbullion.com and really, in reality, commercial rare coins and precious metals as well. Uh, so uh, there you go. There you go. Maybe I'll just simplify everything and just keep it under one roof after all. Uh, and if you live anywhere in South Florida, whether you're buying a dollar's worth of uh, silver or gold or a million dollars worth of gold and silver plus, uh, you can call us anytime at 954-493-8811. Uh, We're open 10 to 4 Monday through Fridays. This is our brick and mortar store. Uh, again, we don't do any shipping out of here. Again, unless you're doing larger quantities, like I said, for concierbullion.com. Uh, but uh, if you're in South Florida, please uh, uh, get a chance to visit us. Uh, uh, if you're visiting out of town, love to meet you. And uh, if you live in South Florida and you want the best deals, man, I'm, I'm your dude. <laughs> well, that's it. Thanks for watching. Have yourself a wonderful uh, day and a wonderful evening. Uh, I'll crack out another video tomorrow. My mouth is just, my throat is just dry as hell. Hopefully, again, I'll be able to speak tomorrow night. And don't forget, if you live in South Florida and uh, uh, you want to see a really super coin and collectible show, uh, December 15th, 17th in Lakeland, Florida is the Collectorama Show. Coins, currency. I'm going to get rid of antiques because... You know, there's some antiques there, but I'm gonna put I'm gonna put right there. You'll see it change coins, currency, uh, oh my gosh, jewelry, and uh, collectibles of all kinds at Lakeland, Florida RP Center, uh, 15th through the 17th. Hey, thanks again for watching. It's Brian Kuzmar, ConcierGeBullion.com, Commercial Rare Coins, saying good night, and I'll talk to you tomorrow. Bye now.